Hi, welcome to Quick Answers again. We're going to take on some tough issues with Christianity and uh, give you really short responses. And I have longer responses if you go to my website, uh, both video and audio, and uh, a book that you can have for free on PDF. So here's a question that you hear often. Well, I'm pretty good. I'll probably make it to heaven, right? Well, what do we say in something like that? Now, how about start with this? How good are we? Who's really a good person? I mean, here's an example. Um, let's be honest. Let's say we commit 10 moral failings during uh, a typical day. Are you kidding me? We know our own hearts. We do way more than 10. But let's just make it nice and roundable. So we say 10 sins a day. You know what that ends up over a 50-year span as an adult? Nearly 200,000 sins? 200,000. Does that really sound like a good person to you? Man, yeah, probably not. Probably a better question is, wow, how can anybody ever make heaven when God's standard is perfection? It says over and over again in the Bible, be perfect as your Father in heaven is perfect. So there's our standard, and there's where we are. We're not exactly there. So how do any of us enter heaven? Well, <clears throat> there's a great story, and uh, I think it illustrates the situation we're in and the situation of God. So supposedly there was this king who had had some robberies in uh, the palace, and he put out an edict, and he said, when we catch that person, we're going to lash them, we're going to whip them uh, severely. So the next night, they catch the person, they bring him to the king, and the king looks down, and it's his mother. Well, he's in a quandary, isn't he? He's just made an edict. Now, if he's just, he's got to carry it out. But he wants to show mercy because it's his mother, for heaven's sake. She's guilty, but how can he do both? So he says, all right, bring in the person with a whip. So the person comes in with a whip. And the king takes off his shirt and walks and holds his mother around here and has the person back there and says, you may commence the whipping. Well, do you see the, what's going on there? There's perfect justice and there's perfect mercy being carried out by the same person. That's what God did for us in the form of Jesus coming down, because we all need mercy. Oh, do we need mercy. The older I get, the more I know my own heart. We need mercy. That's what sets Christianity apart, isn't it? What a wonderful thing. We don't have to be good to get to heaven. We don't have to accumulate brownie points with God and work our way and claw our way up to heaven. We don't have to have a list of a bunch of do's and don'ts and check them off laboriously every day. And as we check them off, we're going... I'm not even doing the list very well. But every other religion does that. It's only Christianity that says you can't reach perfection. You can't climb up to God. God will come down to you. And that's what we get in the form of Jesus. He came down to us and for us and offered us that mercy and that, that righteous life that we couldn't gain on our own.